Ladies, gentlemen, and all you lovely folks who've ever stared at a mirror pondering skincare mysteries, welcome. Today, we're not just walking. We're sashaying from the serene temples of Japan to the bustling beauty counters of the West. Now, in Japan, skincare isn't just a routine. It's practically a spiritual experience. Picture this. You're in Tokyo and there's a woman applying her 17th skincare product of the morning. She's got more layers on her face than a sushi chef has in his knife collection. And the result? Skin so smooth you'd think she was born in a vat of silk. They're chasing after mochihada, skin so bouncy you could play ping pong with it. And trust me, in Japan, if your skin doesn't reflect light like a mirror, you're doing it wrong. Switch scenes to the West. Here, we're a bit like skincare cowboys. Some days it's all about that natural glow. Other days it's bring on the heavy artillery. I once saw a friend slap on what looked like cake frosting to fight off wrinkles. She said it was a night mask, but I'm pretty sure she could have served it at a birthday party. Let's talk sun protection. In Japan, they've got hats that could double as satellite dishes, all to keep those UV rays at bay. Over here, well, we've got SPF, but let's be honest. Sometimes our idea of sun protection is finding the nearest shadow after we've already turned a bit pink. And diet, oh boy, does it show. My cousin in Kyoto swears by her diet of fish, rice, and enough green tea to float a boat. Her skin, flawless. Meanwhile, my buddy in Brooklyn, after a weekend of pizza and beer, looks in the mirror and wonders if his face is trying to grow its own toppings. Now aging. In Japan, they hydrate like they're storing water for the apocalypse. They've got serums, essences, and potions that sound like they could also be used to summon spirits. Here in the West, we're not shy about our love for a bit of help. I've got an aunt who's got a dermatologist on speed dial. She says, why wait for wrinkles when you can preempt them with a little needle here and there? But here's the kicker. Whether you're meticulously layering your 10-step routine in Tokyo, or you're in LA just hoping your sunscreen doesn't ghost you, skin care is personal. It's like choosing between a bonsai tree or a wild garden. One's all about control and perfection. The other's about letting nature do its thing. With a bit of help, of course. So, here's to our skin. The largest organ we've got, and the only one we're actively trying to shrink wrap in youth. Whether you're aiming for that mochi bounce, or just trying to keep the glow without looking like a disco ball, remember, your skin story is unique. It's got character, it's got history, and most importantly, it's got you. So let's raise our skincare bottles, tubes and tubs to the art of looking after ourselves with a chuckle, a wink, and a whole lot of moisturiser. Cheers!